Hey guys, welcome back to Hard Knocks Games and Hobbies YouTube channel, Mediocre Painting with me, Wayne. Today we're going to be uh, talking about this masking pen from, who is this from? Border Models. I've never used a masking pen before. We've used Masking Solution. And I'm going to be honest, I haven't had a lot of great luck with different masking solutions from different companies. Specifically, if you leave the masking on for too long, it peeling paint that it was designed to protect up with it. Um, looking at you, Vallejo masking solution. So we're gonna do some experimentation with this and see what we can do. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, now that we got our neat overhead view, this is the liquid masking pin. It's about 12 bucks, which is a little bit pricey for some masking, but we're gonna see if it's worth it. It works kind of like a paint marker from what I can tell. I think this is the one millimeter pinpoint, so it's pretty fine point. This was recommended by some of the Gundam folks that I know. So we started carrying them and we've, I don't know how many we've sold, but so as you can see, it, it inks out like a paint marker. So you can really do some cool stuff with this. If it works like it's supposed to, we're about to find out, but I can see this being very useful for doing like striping effects or, you know, glass canopies on, uh, various vehicles and jets and things like that. This would be great for painting around the edge and not wanting to get it on your clear parts. But I just got my turret here from, uh, I think it's a Sakarian battle tank that I just wanted to do some experimentations with here on camera to see how this works. So we're gonna, we're gonna do like a chevron here on the turret lid. Come on, dispense. There we go. So I can see that this is gonna definitely take so I'm getting used to, because that is a very thin line, a very thin amount of product. Okay, there we go. So we're just, we're just trying to see how this works here. I'm not the world's best at drawing straight lines. And you know the stuff is dry when it turns light blue. Like right here, if it's still dark, kind of green, it's not dry yet. So we're going to let that dry. I'm going to use some uh, Aldebaran Red from Scale 75. Shaker Ball. The biggest test will be how does it react with the paint that's underneath it. My good friend Allison had a great suggestion for peeling masking, and that's using one of these uh, silicone tipped brushes. And so far, we, when our experiments we've done, it's worked really good. In the past, I've always used a, a Q-tip or tried to just like a, like a Q-tip, modeling Q-tip, or just try to rub it off with my fingers. But uh, this seems to work pretty well. So try to peel this masking off. So the trick is, is getting it out of the cracks and crevices and the tip of the silicone brush is pretty good for that. That seems to have worked pretty okay, except for actually painted over my masking on one part of it because I'm dumb. Not the Christmas line with the pen, but that's just because I'm getting used to using it. I've never used one really before till today. So except for me getting out of the lines of the masking, you know, it seems to work pretty well and comes off pretty easy. So the applications for this are, are pretty good. I'm trying to see what would be best for doing mass area uh, contrast paints because we're getting ready to start the uh, my baggage train for my Empire Army. You know how contrast can get a little uh, blurry around the edges when you try it. So I'm just wondering if this might help keep that separate so stay tuned as we uh as we look for uh different applications with the liquid masking pen i'm gonna call this a win uh this is just my uh it's my mistake right here so i'm gonna cover that up but for the most part it kept that line pretty thin for doing a little chevron on a on the hatch of a tank I'm no expert at striping or anything, so normally you do this with some masking tape to like get you a, a nice good square edge, but there's definitely always going to be places on a model where it's either going to be too small for the masking tape to stick. Like you could mask this off with some tape probably pretty easy. I just wanted to try this pen out on a big surface area. But like if you're trying to like glass up your lens and you did a really stellar job with your glass and you were wanting to paint around it without having to worry about messing up your gem effect or your glass glassing effect, you could probably use this to cover that up pretty easily and keep a nice like sharp edge around it um, so that the rest of the work on your model doesn't overspray or if you got to like try to do some highlight effects with an airbrush or you're trying to do some glazing. So like this has multiple, multiple uses. This isn't the best use, obviously. This was just something so we could show it on camera 
a little easier. Um, but I'm going to say a little pricey, but probably worth it. Um, this one's obviously going in my paint table because, well, I bought it. So anyway, thumbs up from me. Liquid masking pen. Uh, they're available from several companies. Uh, this one's the Border Hobbies one. This is the one we carry. So anyway, thanks. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.